Hey guys, this is God Emperor Zarius here. Today, we are going to be reacting to a very good video from all the way back from 2020 by Alternate History Hub. It's called, What If Trump Was Never President? And this was actually his April Fool's video for that year. Which, you know, the title kind of screams it, basically. Because it's... It can do a controversial subject unless it's an April Fool's video, so you know. Anyway, let's begin. It's going to be really good, I believe. I really enjoyed it. And it's not a first-time reaction, by the way, you know. I've already seen it, but I just really want to react to it and get this on video and stuff, so... Let's begin. <laughs> In November 2016, the United States of America changed its fate forever. No shit! Instead of electing a dignified politician, it chose this buffoon. <laughs> but what Grimace. if there was an alternate timeline where oh, the U.S. No. chose the right candidate? <laughs> what if we chose the right man? Ah! Oh. Wait, I'm sorry, you thought I was talking about her? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. April Fool no, video, by the way, guys. America was chosen months before this travesty occurred. By then, the destiny of the U.S. was already sealed. They had denied the hand of God himself. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm talking about Jeb Bush. What if Jeb Bush was elected president oh. of the United States? Usually in these scenarios... There isn't to be a lot of clapping in this, isn't there? Well, I know there is, but just wanted to do a screw the audience kind of thing, so screw it! Let's see it. Scenarios, the alternate timeline takes a more <laughs> somber tone, reflecting on what we lost because a bad event oh, happened. Oh, no, not that one. And I'm not stopping not here. Daily Time to crank this stuff Oh, Murray! Oh, my God! You stay up at night thinking about what was lost. Sorry, Grandma, dying of the virus. Should have voted for Jeb in March 2016, you old bat. In an alternate January 2017, Jeb Bush is sworn Oh my god! That's a W. Bush's thing! Is cold oh my goodness. To harden the most stubborn nipples. Yet instead, the day is warm. The sun glistens as Jeb speaks. <laughs> the people, once uh. uncertain, decide to clap oh, and feel God their dang souls it, Hercules light reference. Up. They wonder how Frickin they Disney never shits. clapped before. <laughs> and he gives a speech comparable it's to that. Only that the Kennedy, references Lincoln, because of that. and even Jesus oh. Christ himself. <laughs> It's as if maybe that Jeb is Jesus or something like that, or maybe he would lived before Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. At the end of his speech, Jeb takes. Oh no! Here comes the crazy flaming sword, everybody. What does that give you vibes of? A flaming sword. It astounds the audience worldwide. At the sight of such a beacon, <laughs> they realize this is not simply a mere public uh... servant. The next four <laughs> years are a time of not only prosperity for the U.S one of expansion. Canada, under the reign of Justin, blackface was- <laughs> Even though this is kind of hilarious, it's still pretty much the thing that's an actual picture. Eh, thankfully for the next century or two, Canada's gonna get Texas, so you know, that's something to look forward to, I guess. It was fine 20 years ago, Trudeau <laughs> hasn't seen the best of days. Oh shit. So they cast off their maple leaf shackles and join the USA. <laughs> the cartels disavow their trafficking. I wonder why. No longer needing to sell drugs as the only high we all need it's is Jeb. <laughs> there is no longer uh. a left or right in politics. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff there. Good a black news. hole of true centrism who brings in all sides. Eventually, Britain does leave the EU. And they actually, there's six out of their asses and actually join the United States, somehow. Although, Jeb's smiling face probably has something to do with it, but, eh, I don't know. You, deciding to join what is now the Jeb oh, Empire. Oof. The entire EU follows suit. Why? By 2022, ah, it, Jeb care. has now Crazy united cometh. all of Crazy humanity. Goes. But where is there to go? Excellent question. Where in all the existence of all this crazy shit going on with Jeb right now is he and his empire gonna go? We'll see. I bet you involve some toaster sex toy and having weeaboos from a certain planet that's the color of a, well, something that, uh, you know, it's not pretty. I'll just say, your girl's monthly. <laughs> Simple. Mars. <laughs> oh, no. Mars for the last few centuries has been controlled by a cult dedicated to machine- Toaster sex toys, everybody! Toaster sex toys! Because these guys are machine worshippers, kind of. 
It's complicated. ...called the Adeptus Mechanicus. Jeb realizes that Mars could easily defeat a united Earth, even with all its firepower, Ugh. and decides instead yeah. to join forces. Now, with the Mechanicus technology <laughs> at his back, Jeb can lead a holy crusade across the galaxy, reconnecting with lost human colonies. I just want to give props on his here for these purposely shoddy and hilarious crops and of Jeb's face on these. I just love it. And bringing the truth to them. Jeb is soon deemed <laughs> the Emperor of Mankind, and reveals to humanity he has always existed. And that he was Jesus, probably, based on the frickin' context. <laughs> throughout history, a great crusade begins as humankind is able to once again travel through the warp. Jeb has brought together many uh. worlds, either through conquest or by acknowledgement of his wisdom. The galaxy <laughs> is a dangerous wisdom place, my butt. and the only light is the Emperor. <laughs> Various Xenos threaten humankind, Orcs, <laughs> Eldar, and even the mysterious forces of Chaos, fueled pu And Doom Guy, for some reason, is there. Purely by the bitter rage of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Eventually- oh! Oof! Why are you feeling- That is the avatar of her sexual frustration over Jeb- Well, not Jeb, but Bill Clinton's, uh, shall we say, record of unfaithfulness of chaos corrupt a major ally of Jeb, Ben Shapiro. Oh! <laughs> uh, that was... That was good. That was good sus. Hey Arnold, that hey Arnold pick of that one character. Yeah, this, uh... M-O-F-O, -O, you know, this... Mother effort, you know, really fits that profile, that particular character well. Especially the antagonistic part of things, but I'm sidetracking now, am I? <laughs> As they corrupt him into believing that the ways of Jeb are not true, <laughs> turning on Jeb and descending and mankind you... <laughs> into an era of civil war. Nice. By the last battle of this heresy, Jeb and Ben have a final clash. Jeb is victorious. Ben is struck down, <laughs> and his chaos lead. But the people didn't clap enough, so this happened. Engines chased back into the warp, <laughs> at least for now. Despite his victory, Jeb's injuries are too much. <laughs> Jeb is now just a because they didn't clap enough to save him. Hollow man, his body becoming a corpse, <laughs> brought into what will soon be called the Golden Throne. Jeb sustains his life by the daily sacrifice of ten thousand clapping <laughs> attendees. <laughs> but that's just that a theory. Good. A game. Ah, no, not pervy guy. Watching, and stay tuned for my next video, in which I exploit a global crisis Oof. to predict which video game character Matt will survive goofed. the coronavirus. Yeah, that was one of Matt Pat's cringiest moments ever. Yikes! But hey, just the theory, I suppose. <coughs> Exploitation. <coughs> Now, that was my reaction to alternate history ups. What if Trump was never president? This was his 2020 April Fool's video from about two years ago. Two years ago to this day. Hope you all enjoyed that. Or, you know, please check out the original video if you liked that and stuff. And hopefully his other stuff too. It's really blood, bloody good. He's a really good channel, especially within the alternate history community. Hope you all enjoy it. And this has been Inquisitor Zarius. I hope you all have a wonderful day. See ya! Yeah!